We're out here on site today looking for the very first state monument set, which was set by A.J. Robinson in 1975. Hello and welcome to the Arkansas Division of Land Surveys. My name is Daniel Phillips. I am the Arkansas State Surveyor. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about our corner restoration program. Now the corner restoration program has been around for almost the entire history of the uh, Division of Land Surveys. The Division of Land Surveys was created in 1973 and monuments have been set in the corner restoration program for almost that entire history. But I've never known when or where the first state monument was ever set. However, I am a member of the Arkansas Society of Professional Surveyors and I have access to uh, their archived articles and in one of these articles which was written by Dr. John Dennis and Tom Jacobs, both surveying professors. In this article, uh, they briefly talk about the first ever monument set in this program. Turns out it was set in 1975, and there was a, a section, township, and range given uh, for this monument. So it turns out it's very close to the Oklahoma border southwest of Mena. So we're looking at a map now. Um, <clears throat> so southwest of Mena is a little town called Cove, Arkansas. And it's going to be a little bit west of Cove. So let's zoom in and take a look. Okay, according to that article, the very first monument set in the corner restoration prog program was the north quarter of section 18, 4 south, 32 west. So let's zoom in there and take a look. So that monument <clears throat> is probably very close to this stream, perhaps on the south side of the stream. And I got to looking at our corner database, and it turns out we have a certificate filed for that particular corner restoration. And here it is. Let me zoom out a little. Okay, you can see this is document cer certificate number one. So I got to reading through this certificate and let's zoom into a section here. There's a note that says this was the first corner reset by the state Several visitors were on hand and helped with the chores of digging, painting, etc. in refurbishing the corner. So this corner was set by private surveyor uh, A.J. Robinson. Another interesting thing on this uh, certificate is there is reported to be, at least in 1975, uh, an original witness tree. So here is a copy of the original notes, the very top here. You see there's a holly, four inch diameter, bears north 18 degrees west, six links. In the description of corner evidence found, it also mentions the holly, now 13 in inches diameter, still standing green with original scribing of one quarter S clearly visible. So that makes me really want to go out and try to find this corner and see what is is remaining. Can I find the the monument? Uh, can can we find the the uh, witness trees? Is that original witness tree still there? I got to looking through our uh, in-house archives and <clears throat> 
and this is uh, part of a photographic series um, of this corner restoration. Uh, staff surveyor uh, Steve Martin uh, was going through the archives and, and found this series. But you can see in the background, there's the holly that was mentioned in the corner certificate. Let me zoom in. Uh, let me zoom out just a second here. I want to mention something else in the corner certificate. Um, so he is holding a stone that was set later by a county surveyor. So you can see uh, Sydney Curry, Polk County surveyor, remarked the corner in 1951 with a 6 by 6 by 24 inch stone set 20 inches in the ground. So that's what he's has dug up to replace with a monument. But in the background, re remember where it said uh, scribing still clearly visible, one quarter S? There it is. So I, I really want to go out there and see if that tree is still there and what kind of condition it's in if it's still there. That is our plan. We'll probably, we can get really close on this county road. We've got a creek we'll have to cross, and it should be fairly easy to access. So I'm really looking forward to that. We're out here on site today looking for the very first state monument set which was set by A.J. Robinson in 1975. And we have just came across this creek and on the south side of the bank it is still here. So that's A.J. Robinson's uh, RLS number from 1975 and another reason we wanted to come out to this site is because this holly tree uh, was claimed to be an original tree from the mid 1800s original witness tree with original scribing And we can see some scribing here. We have not concluded if this is from the 1975 restoration or if this is uh, original. Typically in the restorations, the scribing is down low at the base. In 1975, the scribing was described as uh, one quarter S for the south one quarter. So I can sort of see a, a one slash maybe a four and I can't really make out the S below it. Another thing I want to point out is the banding from 1975. So this is, I, I like seeing old examples of banding just to kind of see how long it lasts. So this would be <clears throat> our oldest example and you can clearly see the um, orange paint and believe it or not all of the reference trees from 1975 are here except for one we'll take a look at the corner again that's the original post for the do not disturb sign that is the original location tag still in place a lot of times these are missing but that's a very substantial post this is a very rural area with uh, no development, so that helps the longevity. We'll take a look at a couple of the witness trees that were taken in 1975. So this uh, pretty good sized pine here, <clears throat> still um, 
original banding from 1975. So that's 47 year old paint. Cannot really see much where it was blazed. Maybe a little bit of a flat spot on that side of the tree. Now one of the references that did not make it is this red oak. So Steve just uh, investigated this red oak and concluded that it originated, it was in that uh, stump hole, that depression, and was at some point blown down. Let's take a look at one more reference with original paint. So this is a pretty uh, substantial pine. We haven't measured the, the diameter yet, but it could be uh, 30 inches or more. So that's what the paint looks like after 47 years. So we're about a half a mile from the Oklahoma border. And uh, so that's what it looks like. So we are now about to begin uh, the restoration process. We're gonna uh, add new location or new witness tree tags, uh, maybe add one or two witness uh, trees and uh, com completely document this corner so we can publish it to the uh, certified corner database. Okay, so we have now completed the field restoration of corner number one. So two of the called for witness trees were still here. Uh, the pine on the left and the pine on the right. We have banded and scribed those. This one has been banded. New sign, current date. This one was never blazed and scribed, so we went ahead and made a new blaze and scribe. From the nail, get the angle right here, from the nail, Back to the corner, we set that at the original uh, or the record distance from the 1975 corner certificate. And as, ex as expected, it falls at the center of the tree. This tree is from the 1975 survey. You can see we made the band a little bit lower. We wanted to kind of preserve the original paint from the 1975 uh, restoration. So this one theoretically has a scribe in the flesh of the tree near the base. And just due to the sheer size of the tree and not wanting to uh, injure it any further, I chose to do kind of a deep uh, bark scribe without getting into the, the meat of the tree. Again, we set a uh, 20D nail at the record distance, which falls at the center of the tree. Let's walk over here. Also a pine tree from the 1975 survey. Again, preserving the original banding. Uh, put in a new band. 
Also should have scribing and blaze uh, a little bit lower than where you see the red paint from the from 1975. So I kind of wanted to set the new scribe and blaze uh, just above that to preserve anything that's under the, the bark. And also uh, try to keep it small to uh, lessen the injury of the tree. So since the witness trees from 1975 are kind of you know, old and large at this point, we wanted to pick uh, one more additional tree. This is kind of a younger uh, holly, so very easy to band, easy to scribe. And then finally, we left the original holly, which has been here since the original GLO survey. We elected not to band it or add a sign or anything just to lessen the potential for injury due to uh, this tree's importance. So there's the 1975 banding again and probably the original GLO scribing. Okay, so 432 feet south According to the 1975 certificate, there was an uh, azimuth mark, and we found that azimuth mark. Now I'm going to get a position on this, and so we can use it as an additional reference. All right, we got a good fixed shot. So on our way back from corner number one, we're crossing Buffalo Creek. Cool thing about surveying, you can come out here and see these neat areas and get paid at the same time. <laughs> 